pH ORP PO650 is an indicator to display pH or ORP depending on the type of electrode used as required by your process. It is also available with advanced options of automatic temperature compensation, options of either RS485 or isolated 4 to 20 milliampere output. Well, having said that, why do we use a pH meter? A pH meter basically helps in measuring the acidity or alkalinity of a liquid. The pH scale is logarithmic and runs from 0 to 14 with 7 being neutral. Readings less than 7 indicates acidic solutions, while reading higher than 7 indicates alkaline solution with 7 being neutral. Whereas, an ORP meter is used to measure the oxidation reduction potential. In the water and waste water treatment industry, chlorine and ozone are the most common disinfectants used. The ORP meter monitors the level of residual chlorine or ozone in water. Application The PO650 meter can be used in RO plants, ultrafiltration plants, waste water treatment plants and several other process applications. Unboxing the entire package comes with a sensor, indicator and a sensor holder along with user manual. Sensor The sensor, as you can see, is a glass electrode with a polycarbonate body. It comes with a standard 3 meter long single core shielded cable. We also have sensors with triclaw fitting for food, pharma and dairy application or a sensor for wastewater and other specific applications depending on your process requirement. Indicator The indicator has a LED display. We also offer meters with dual line backlit display to simultaneously show temperature and pH. Our standard meter is supplied with high and low relay outputs. It gives signal to dosing pumps, hooters and valves. Sensor holder The sensor is normally supplied with 3 4 inch plastic sensor holder with female threading. Installation now that we are pretty much acquainted with the components, let us step through the installation process. Please remember, it is very important to understand the installation process to make the best use of our products. Here we go. Sensor installation. The sensor should only be connected in the sampling line because the sensor body is not meant for pressurized line. The sensor should always be mounted vertically in the pipeline. When the sensor is inserted into the sampling point, Please ensure that the flow of water is from bottom to top. Meter installation. The meter is designed to suit both field and panel mount applications. For field mounting, the meter comes with a sensor mount option. The meter has slide grooves on three sides of the enclosure that can be used to slide the plate of the sensor. This ensures that irrespective of the orientation of the sensor, whether it is on horizontal or vertical line, the meter display always remains horizontal. For viewing convenience, it is always advisable to mount the meter at an eye level. For panel mounting, make a 90mm by 90mm cutout on your panel plate. Slide the meter through the cutout and fit it with side clips to lock. Well, that was all about the installation process. Now we shall see the wiring connection. Wiring Connection The meter has glands on the hinge cover to enroute the mains cable and output wires to their respective terminals. The supply voltage should be 230 volt AC plus or minus 10% unless specified. The cable used must be round and of 6 to 8 mm in diameter. While closing the hinge cover, any extra length of cable has to be pulled out of the glands such that the hinge cover can be closed tightly, keeping it IP65. Meter Operation Let us now learn the operation of the meter. By turning the meter on, the display will show the company name, type, version and output. As you can see, it has three programming keys, view key, acknowledge key and menu key. The view key displays factory settings of relay like high on, high off, low on, 
लो ऑफ टेम्परेचर एंड आउटपुट सेटिंग्स इफ एनी The ACK key displays millivolt and resets the relay in case of fault. The menu key is used for high and low relay settings. While programming, the view key can be used to right shift the ACK key for increment and menu key to enter and save the setting how to program set point of ph once we press the menu key it will show set high press the menu key the display will show a previously set high ph value using ack key and view key we can set the required high ph value for example let us set high ph value as 9.00 and press menu to enter the display will now show hysteresis 1 On pressing menu it will show a previously set hysteresis value using ACK key and view keys we can set the required hysteresis value let us set hysteresis value at 10% and press menu to enter next the display shows set low by pressing menu it will display a previously set low value using ACK key and view key we can set the required low ph value For example, let us set low pH value as 5 and press menu to enter. Always remember that low set point should always be lower than the high set point else the meter will show set error. Now the display will show hysteresis 2. On pressing menu, it will show a previously set hysteresis value. Using ACK key and view key, we can set the required hysteresis value. Let us set hysteresis value at 10% and press menu to enter. In this case, low set point is 5 with 10% hysteresis, hence the relay will get reset only when the pH goes over 5.5. Normally, hysteresis values are kept at 10%. Finally, the display shows temperature. On pressing the menu key, it will show a previously set temperature value. Using ACK key and view keys we can set temperature value and press menu to enter an end. Now, what is hysteresis? It is the percentage value for which the relay will not reset after getting energized. In this case, since the pH value is set at 9.00 and the hysteresis is kept at 10%, then the high relay will get energized the moment ph exceeds 9.00 and will remain energized until the ph value falls to 8.1 on site calibration the ph meter supplied comes duly calibrated by experienced professionals from our factory in case the need arises for on site calibration let us learn the procedure to start the calibration procedure Please ensure the availability of fresh buffer solutions of 7 and 4 or 9.2 pH. Enter password 1 2 3. The display will show calibration and on pressing menu display will show 0. On pressing menu again the display will show ACRD that is the actual reading sensed by the sensor now dip the sensor in 7 ph solution and wait till the reading stabilizes press ack key to select setc to set the zero value then display will show a reading with its first digit blinking set this value to 7.00 using view and ack key and press menu to enter next the display will show span press menu key again now rinse the sensor with water and dip the sensor either in 4 ph or 9.2 ph solution and wait till the reading stabilizes press ack key to select setc and set the span value then display will show a reading with its first digit blinking 
set this value to 4.00 or 9.2 depending on the solution using view and ACK keys and press menu twice to end the calibration. In order to cross-check the calibration settings, the meter has a third point checking facility. Please note that if the actual reading for zero and span differ by 40%, then the meter will show sensor error and start showing readings as per previous calibration. As mentioned earlier, the meter is available with an optional output of both RS485 and 4 to 20 milliampere. Let us first understand the settings for 4 to 20 milliampere. In case your meter has 4 to 20 milliampere output, the default zero and span setting can be viewed by pressing view key and output current of the moment can be seen by pressing ACK key. In case the factory setting of zero and span needs to be changed based on the process requirement, Press view and ACK key simultaneously and enter password 0678. On pressing menu, display will show type. On pressing menu again, we can choose the type as either normal that is 4 to 20 or inverse that is 20 to 4 using the ACK key. Then press menu to save and set the zero value. After setting the zero value, press menu twice to set the span value. Having changed the span value, press menu twice to end and save the setting. Note, the meter has an inbuilt 4 to 20 milliampere output simulator for easy synchronization with the PLC or any other remote device. To output standard 4 and 20 milliampere, enter password 04 0. Press menu twice to output 4 milliampere. Press ACK key and then menu key to output 20 milliampere and press menu twice to exit. Let us now understand the settings for RS485. For meters with RS485 output, only after setting the device ID and the baud rate, one would be able to communicate with the instrument. Let us understand how to do these settings. Press view and ACK key simultaneously and enter password 0345. Press menu and the display will show baud rate. On pressing the menu key again, the display will show a previously set baud rate. One can select between 4800 or 9600 by using the ACK key. Once you have selected the desired baud rate, press menu twice and the display will ask for device address. Use the view and ACK key to set the device address to the required address. Press menu twice to save and exit. The maximum number of device address settable is 25. Troubleshooting if the meter shows no display, check the input supply with the help of multimeter and ensure it gets required supply. In case display remains off despite proper supply, open the instrument and change the fuse with a new 630 milliampere fuse. If the meter shows sensor error on screen, Then press ACK key and check millivolt output of the sensor. If the output is out of range, that is more than 500 or less than minus 500, you might need to replace the sensor. Contact the nearest service center. If the meter shows wrong reading, it could be because of the following reasons. If the sensor is installed correctly, yet it shows wrong reading, then remove the sensor from line and test the sensor in standard solution of 7 and 4 pH. If it still shows wrong reading, then recalibrate the meter. The wrong reading could also be due to very low conductivity in the water. 
contact service center if meter reading is fluctuating. Ensure that the sensor cable is directly terminated on indicator terminal without any extension joints in the cable. See if there is any loose wiring. If sensor wire is routed along with power cable then isolate the sensor wire. It could also be because the sensor is not able to send signal to the meter. In that case, disconnect the sensor from the meter by removing the wires and short sensor input terminals. Check the reading. If the reading is around 7, then contact the nearest service center. For any further details or query, Please contact our nearest dealer or visit our website www.embarkwater.com. Thank you.